Hey, it's Ryan from Upfit Supply, and in this video, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know before upfitting your Ram ProMaster. Let's get into it. Well, the Ram ProMaster is one of the big three on the market. We've got the Ram ProMaster, we've got the Ford Transit, and the Mercedes Sprinter, which are these full-size Euro-style vans, if you will, that are great for work as well as adventure. Now, if you're watching this video, maybe thinking of using one of these vans for uh, work, and so you're thinking about upfitting it and wondering what to do to the van. And each of these vans have different nuances. They're a little bit different in different ways. And so there's a couple of things that you need to take into consideration before you upfit your Ram ProMaster. And I wanna show you some of those things in this video. Now, the Ram ProMaster is available in three wheelbase lengths. Now. Uh, wheelbase is the measurement between your front axle and your rear axle. So you're really talking about length of the vehicle when you're talking about wheelbase. Um, and so the ProMaster is offered in the 118 inch wheelbase, the 136 inch wheelbase, and the 159 inch wheelbase. Now that 159 inch wheelbase does have two body length options. They have the 159 inch regular, which is your regular body length, and they have the 159 inch extended. And the, the regular and extended, the difference between those two vans is the length behind the rear axle. So you can get an extended version of the 159, which basically gives you a little bit longer length behind that rear axle. Now this van behind me is a 159 inch regular wheelbase. It's got the high roof. Um, the, the ProMaster is available in two different roof heights. We have the standard or low roof, and we have the high roof. Once you get into those 159 inch wheelbases, you only have the high roof option, but on those shorter wheelbase, uh, options you can get the standard roof as well. One of the unique things about the ProMaster is the way that they design the cargo floor. You can see behind me there's this white step going into the cab area of the van and so the cab actually sits a little bit higher than the floor in the cargo area and the reason that they did that was to give you the low uh, load floor height. It comes in about 20 inches from the ground and then it also allows them to maximize the height within the cargo area so without having to get the van too tall you're able to maximize that height by lowering the floor. Now, one of the things that they did here on the side door, and the reason I want to start over here, is you can see there's no inset step. And so the ProMaster is a little bit different than the Transit and the Sprinter, where they have an inset step um, on the side door here, and the ProMaster didn't, maybe because they thought they lowered the floor enough, but it's still a 21 inch step here once you get a uh, uh, a floor in place. And so, one of my first recommendations to anyone with a ProMaster is to look at getting a step on this side door. Even if you only have to go in here a few times a day, it is a giant step and it wears on you after time. And for like 150 bucks, you can get a step here to make it a lot easier to get in and out of the van. Now, if you're doing parcel delivery, maybe you're a delivery service provider, uh, that is a must have. You're gonna want that step here on the, on the side door, maybe in the rear. If you're using the van for a trade and maybe you have to tow something, you might wanna stay away from that step on the back because it will interfere with your hitch receiver. Now, another thing to show you just while we're at the, the front of the van here, as you can see, there's this attic space up, up above the, the cab area uh, on the high roof versions. And so when you're, when you're thinking about a partition, which is something that I definitely recommend if you're gonna have anything in the back of the cargo area, you need to have a partition. It's what protects you in the driver uh, seat and in the passenger seat in case there's a sudden stoppage event or a crash or something like that. It's gonna protect your life. So you're really gonna want a partition in any van, it's my number one recommendation. Um, but when you're buying a partition for the ProMaster, you can see we have this attic here. And so uh, the, pro the partition is the same whether you have a standard roof or a high roof uh, because it mounts to just below this little attic here above the cab. Now inside the van here, there's a few things that I wanna point out. Obviously, we have started upfitting this a little bit. This insulation is not something that you get from the factory. This little wheel well cover here isn't as well as the floor speaking of the floor you can get the ProMaster with a factory floor it's a wood style floor it's got like a honeycomb texture on the top but it is a really nice floor and i think it's only like a 500 hundred dollar upgrade so if you have the opportunity to get that i would definitely recommend it if you don't get a floor you definitely want to put in a floor in the van uh, now there's a couple of different options that you have for flooring um, the ProMaster has ribbing in the floor for uh, structural reasons. And so if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking back here, you're gonna wanna go with like a solid 
or a rigid floor, something like a Stabila Grip, which is what we have in here. This is a composite material, so it's not going to rot if it gets wet and things like that. Um, another option is a floor from WeatherGuard, which is just a little, uh, it's like a quarter inch thick, but it's a flexible floor. And so you're really gonna feel that ribbing in the floor if you're walking back here but it is kind of that economy level flooring that's gonna protect the floor from scratches and stuff like that. And then kind of the middle of the road is the bed rug van tread, which is a, uh, it's kind of a vinyl feeling floor. It's kind of got a, a solid surface on top and then it's got foaming underneath it with ribbing that sits into the ridges in the van. So you're not gonna feel any of that ribbing, but it's still kind of that lower level uh, from a price perspective, floor, but it's a solid and easy buy. The other thing about the ProMaster and really all of these vans is these wheel wells really stick into uh, the cargo area. And so, you know, this is a 10 year old van and we just had dings and dents everywhere on these wheel wells. And so we have these wheel well covers in here to protect those, but also for us, it helps with the aesthetic a little bit to cover those up and protect those as well. Now in the 159 inch regular wheelbase, you have 12 feet of length from basically that white step all the way to this rear door threshold here. So you can fit your 12 foot material in there. Now, if you put in a partition and you get that center door or you get that little dog hatch in it, you can get away with like a 14 foot piece of lumber or, or trim or something like that. If you slide it up there, I would just do that in a pinch. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to fit a ton that way, but you can get 14 feet from that threshold, basically all the way up to where those cup holders are in the cargo area. But you wanna make sure that your partition can support that by having like a dog hatch or that center door that opens. Now, one of the main pieces of an upfit is going to be your shelving. And with a high roof ProMaster, luckily you don't have any limitations on height. So you can go as high as 60 inches with your shelving. The one thing you wanna take into consideration with any of the ProMasters is going to be your available width. And so obviously on the driver's side here, you've got from this rear door all the way up to wherever your partition is going to sit that you can use for shelving or cabinets or whatever it may be. The one challenge, and this is true with basically every van, is the wheel well. And so if you do a, sh a shelf where this wheel uh, well is, you're gonna wanna put one leg uh, on the rear side and make sure that your second leg is long enough to clear that wheel well. And then you're gonna have to mount your bottom shelf up high enough to clear over top of that wheel well. As far as attachment points for your shelving, you've got plenty of options here on the ProMaster. You can see kind of in these, I call them cross members, I don't know what the technical term is, but these kind of pillars right here, you've got your C pillar right here, and then you've got these little cross members in the siding of the van. You've got a lot of holes that are kind of punched out in this uh, hexagon shape, if you will, and you could probably get a plus nut in there. Otherwise, you know, you basically have this whole rail right here at the top and a whole rail here, kind of at midway on the van. And then you've got your C pillar right here. It's an option to tie into. And then same thing over here on the passenger side where you've got this, you know, these rails that you can basically tie in for your shelving. And then you've got your C pillar right here, obviously, that you can also use for putting in your plus nut or whatever to secure your shelving to the van. Now, the other attachment point for shelving is going to be on the floor. And with the ProMaster right here, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got eight D-rings that you might be able to get away with attaching your shelving to these D-rings. Otherwise, you can leave them open for attaching cargo and things like that. Um, or you just wanna put a plus nut in the floor. And just make sure you look underneath the van before drilling any holes to make sure you're not gonna hit a gas tank or a fuel line or anything important like that. Now, one of the things we are doing to our ProMaster is doing a full insulation package. So we have the Autoply cargo van insulation in here. And what essentially this is, is all these panels are pre-cut and they come with the adhesive already on them. You just peel the backing away and you stick it on here like a sticker. And so it's a kit for the whole van like this, and this is gonna help us control temperature as well as the noise. You know, the thing about cargo vans is they're just super noisy because this is just bare sheet metal back here. And so there's already an improvement just talking back here. I don't feel like I'm in a tin can having this insulation in place. And then the other thing that we're gonna be doing is putting uh, some Duratherm liners over top of this on our walls, on our ceilings, um, and on our doors. And what that does is it protects the sheet metal. So if you have tools and equipment and something shifts around and hits the side wall, you know, that's your exterior wall and that can very easily 
dent and ding, just like your kid with their bike uh, in the garage, it can very easily chip paint and dent and all of that. And so the Durther Miners actually protect uh, all of the surface in the interior of the van. It also has a layer of insulation behind it that's gonna further help with that temperature and noise control in the back of the van. Now these wheel well covers also have some insulation behind them, so not only does it protect those wheel wells, it's also gonna help cut down on that road noise uh, that's gonna be coming from the, that area of the van. Now another thing we're gonna be doing in this van is upgrading the lighting. There is a factory light right here by the side door and one back here by the rear door, but they really don't do a whole lot for lighting up the space. And so if you're doing any of those early morning projects or late night projects, you wanna want some better lighting in here. And so we're using a Legend motion sensor ceiling light. We're gonna have three LED lights spaced evenly in here. You can see we already have our wiring run. For this and it's just a plug and play system basically you, you attach it to the battery and then you have these little plugs and tees and it's super simple and so once we get our liners in place we'll be putting that lighting in there as well makes it super simple there's no switches to worry about you walk in here the lights turn on when you need it and they shut off when you're gone now we actually have some fun stuff planned for this van in terms of an upfit over here on the passenger side we're going to be doing two folding shelves so fold down when we need them and fold them up when we don't and then over here, we're going to have a workbench, and that's one of the reasons that we're doing the folding shelving over here is to give us plenty of room to work over here on a full-size wood workbench. <clears throat> then we're gonna have a, a standard shelf here with some bins and some other things, and then a large lockable cabinet where we can hold some valuables and things like that. And that's gonna be the majority of our upfit in addition to the liners that we're gonna be doing. Um, another thing that we did up front here that is something a lot of people uh, forget about is we have some seat covers on here from Tiger Tough and these are kind of work specific. They're built for the trades to uh, protect those seats because you've got tool belts and you've got mud and all that. And so they're weatherproof, tear proof. All of that proof is gonna protect those seats up there. You can't even tell that there's a seat cover on there. Um, it's just a great material that's gonna protect the life of the van. We're of course gonna be doing a partition we're gonna have a three panel system where we've got you know, a panel, center door, and a panel. We're gonna be converting our center panel into a door so that we can be in the cab area and very easily walk back here and do whatever we need to do. We also have a lock system installed on here to help secure this area even more. We have the security lock installed on the van right now that's going to just up that level of protection, make it nearly impossible to break into the back of this van. Now, another important consideration for these high rev vans is ladder racks. If you're gonna be hauling a ladder around, you are wanna think about what type of ladder rack you're gonna be using. Because this is a high rev van, it's almost impossible to get a ladder on top of the van without using a ladder to get it up there. And so uh, we're gonna be putting a couple of different ladder racks on this van but the most important one is going to be the drop down ladder rack that we're putting on. And what that is, is it's basically, it's a ladder rack and it's got a little pole that you use and you uh, put it in the mechanism and it drops down the mechanism on the side of the van. You can very easily load that ladder on the mechanism and then you take that pole and you're able to lift that back on top of the van. So you're not having to figure out a way to load uh, a ladder on top of a super high rev van like this one. Now, another thing about this van is we have glass on these rear doors. And so when we're talking about security and protection, uh, we're gonna have thousands of dollars of equipment and supplies in the back here and someone can just walk up and look and see what we got going on. And so we're gonna be putting in some window guards, uh, they just kind of drill into the side of those window areas and it's going to number one, protect the glass so that if we accidentally have a piece of lumber or something uh, sticking out and we shut that door, it doesn't shatter the glass. Number two is just gonna protect this cargo area uh, from any potential intruders who wanna take what we have back here. Well, that just about covers the major components for upfitting a Ram ProMaster. Of course, there's so many different options, so many different trades, so many different nuances that the options are really endless. And so one thing that we created to help you out is we have what's called the Upfit Gallery at upfitsupply.com. And in there, you can see our customers submitted photos of their upfits on how they're using their van for their particular trade. And you can filter by vehicle or you can filter by trade to find some ideas or get some inspiration on what you can do to upfit your van so that you can be more efficient in the field. 
be sure to watch some of our videos that we have coming out soon of upfitting this van as we get it ready to sell. And of course, if you're looking for any equipment to upfit your van to get it ready for work, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.